Good morning guys, we're, in today's video we're going to be swapping out the graphics card on this PC. This is a friend's PC, it won't run the games that he wants to run anymore. Um, he doesn't want to spend the money on all the parts to be replaced, so I'm doing the best I can. I'm, I'm swapping it out with an AMD RX 570. Um, the link to that will be below. It's a really cool graphics card, it costs about 150 bucks at the time of writing this, um, which is a lot less than a lot of the other graphics cards do, like uh, if you were to buy a 2070 or a 1660 or anything like that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unscrew these screws and we're going to um, ground ourselves. So you do not want to be walking around with socks on, on carpet or anything like that before doing this. You want to ground yourself on um, a, piece of, a piece of metal that's like actually grounded before you touch anything. The best, one, best thing to do is to wear a wrist strap, a grounding wrist strap. I don't have one, so I'm not going to be wearing it. But um, then we're going to take out these screws. These are screws that just hold it in tight to the PCIe slot. And then we're going to take out the power cable. Be gentle with this. Awesome. So then, this graphics card will pop right out. There we go guys, just make sure you're gentle with it, don't pull really hard or anything. This is our new graphics card. We're just going to take the plastic film off real quick. Now this isn't going to make everything about your computer faster, but it will allow you to run better games if you're running an older graphics card before. It supports uh, DirectX 12 and it supports uh, VR. It's a really nice graphics card in an inexpensive package compared. So this one has a little cover over the pins. That's really good that they included that. Keeps them safe. I'm going to take that off. I'm not going to handle those pins myself. So then guys, we're not going to touch the, uh, the actual pins where the pins go. We're just going to slide it into place. Be very careful that you get these two prongs into the side of the motherboard. They shouldn't stick through the holes at all. Not through the holes, but right beside the motherboard there's a little slot for them. Um, there's a locking tab right here on the PCIe slot for the GPU um, that's going to lock onto this piece right here. So if it locks and then you didn't get it in straight, just push back on this little tab and it'll unlock it. You don't need to, please don't struggle and break it. So if we slide it down perfectly straight, it should lock right into place. Super easy, just like that. So now it's locked into place. So you hear a little locking tab go. Now be careful when you screw this in that you don't drop the screws into the system. You might need to pull it a little bit as you put it in the screw so you can get them in straight. So we got one. You don't want to tighten it down super tight because then you might not have, uh, the hole might not be open for the other one. So just three quarters of the way, almost all the way in. Push it in again. And get your second screw going. Now guys, you probably have a screwdriver already, but I'll link a uh, really nice set of screwdrivers for electronics work in the description below. Okay, the screws are in. It's almost ready to go. All we have to do is supply the power. So the old one used a uh, a six point power. This one uses eight. So luckily our uh, our system comes with, um, it's a little bit modular in, in that we can attach these last two and that gives us the eight that we need. And then we're just gonna go ahead and plug them all in as one unit. And be careful when you press down that you don't hurt the motherboard. You're going to want to pull up a little bit on the graphics card itself while you press down on the power plug. You'll know you're done when this locking tab locks all the way down. There we go, locking tab is locked. So now it has power. We've screwed in these screws, um, and we're ready to go. So it has a whole bunch of ports on the back side. This, this graphics card is great. It'll support uh, most games that you want to play. It may not do 4K, um, but it is VR ready. It has DirectX 12, which is what you need for a lot of the new games. It'll run 1080 at 60 FPS easily. So that's what we're looking for, guys. It also has 8 gigabytes of VR RAM. It's really nice for what it is. If you don't have the money for an NVIDIA uh, card, then this is what you want to go for. The R7, R9. This is the uh, Radeon RX 570 with 8 gigabytes of RAM.
I'm also going to include uh, how to install the drivers. Um, they probably already installed on their own, but let me just go in and make sure. So we just sign into the computer. And um, so by the looks of this resolution, they've already installed the drivers, but we're going to double check. We're going to go to update. You can just open up this and say update. And then we're going to let it install all the updates. Um, let's make sure it's connected to the internet. All right, so guys, now that it's connected to the internet, um, we're going to check these updates. We're going to go ahead and hit um, pause and then resume so that it'll actually look for updates again. So now it's going to check the server for updates. So you may or may not have to use the tool that I included in the description below to do these updates. I'm going to go ahead and search for the AMD updater. Um, it'll be in, in the description for you guys. We're going to run the tool. So it's right here. We're just going to say install. So it's going to search your computer, find out what graphics card you have, and then give you the latest driver for it. Here it is. We're going to do an express ex install. And like I said before, guys, this is the AMD software. If you bought an NVIDIA graphics card, it'll be the NVIDIA GeForce experience, I believe, that will give you the updates to yours, and that'll be also in the link below. Alright guys, so I just finished installing and we're just going to go ahead and restart the PC. Um, it's asking us to restart to, to put these drivers into place, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. We're just going to make sure everything's good and that everything installed correctly. If you are if you got to the screen, it probably did, but I just want to be sure. So guys, we're going to check our display settings. And we're going to make sure that it can run 1080. This is it guys. So if it doesn't have a driver yet, it won't be able to run 1080, it'll probably run at a lower um, at a lower resolution, but um, since we're running 1080, uh, we got the right driver in, everything's good with the driver, so we don't have to worry about that, we're just going to uh, make sure you guys let Windows update like it wants to, and then you guys are good to go. So, good job on installing your graphics card and making sure that the driver is good. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you, please like and subscribe. If you guys have any... Um, any kind of suggestions for future videos, anything that you guys are looking to learn how to do, let me know. I work on computers for my job, and I love doing it, so please let me know what you guys are um, looking to get answered. So put your questions down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much.